today was uh, a rough one. I had to get up super early and then I went back to sleep somehow. So it was a pretty rough morning getting started, but it has been like this for a couple of weeks now, probably because of the fire smoke and my asthma and some other things going on, but yeah, hopefully I can get back to me. Tabernacle. And sometimes we think of the tabernacle as just being one tent, but here you can see in chapter 16, it says the tent that David pitched for it. It doesn't say the tabernacle. And in chapter 17, David's going to talk a little bit later, or I'm sorry, Nathan the prophet's going to talk a little bit later about how the Ark of the Covenant went from tent to tent. Because obviously a tent is something that's not going to last. It's not a permanent structure. And so over the course of many centuries, the tabernacle had actually gone from tent to tent. So David sets up a tent for it. But he decides here that it would be better for there to be a permanent housing for the Ark of the Covenant. And so he says, you know, it just doesn't seem right that I would be in a house of cedars. I have this magnificent palace and, you know, the house of God is a tent and the Ark of the Covenant is a tent. So when Nathan hears this, he responds to David by saying, Do If you ever wonder when I'm not posting anything, what I'm actually doing in between cooking, cleaning, laundry, other things that moms do. While I'm doing those things, I also do this. I have my phone with me most of the time. And I have to charge it all the time because I'm constantly listening to sermons. That's what I'm doing. When I'm not reading my Bible, I'm listening to sermons about the Bible. So I'm always in the Word, y'all. Always. That's what people just don't get. I'm literally obsessed with God and Jesus, and I just want to learn as much as I can. I have the boys watching Pure Flicks cartoons, which teaches them about the Bible. I'm super proud of them. They actually enjoy it. So when they do their chores and they do their schoolwork, once they're done, I allow them to watch TV. And because we have pure flicks, I don't have to worry about the contents of what they're watching because I choose what they watch. And pure flicks has some pretty good shows on there that are very wholesome. So I don't have to worry. I completely got rid of Netflix. <laughs> so happy. <sighs> this weekend is going to be a tremendously strange weekend because there's going to be a lot of things going on this weekend that I need to get done. One of which is the fact that I just watched the book of Esther and it has literally put into me some kind of inspiration and love and all this beautifulness inside of my soul and my heart right now. And so I'm kind of going to research uh, the Bible's version because I watched the movie, so I'm going to read the actual book of Esther from the Bible and research the whole thing tomorrow and um, then I will be working on some things this weekend that are very very important uh, biblically personally spiritually I'm just really really needing to Get closer to God, closer to Jesus. And I know that there's only one way of doing such things. That is to quiet everything and to meditate on the word alone. The word. Not other people's words, not the worldly words, not man's words, not man's doctrines, not man's knowledge. God's words, God's doctrine, God's knowledge. 
And to do that, I have to go to the exact source of that doctrine, the word, and the knowledge, which is the living, breathing Bible itself. I suggest anybody who's in in uh, a rut or in a state or in in feeling away, they need to just get into that word. Get out of your worldly mind, your worldly your worldly heart. Get into the word and become a creature of Christ. Come on. It's time. So I hope that everybody had a wonderful Friday. I hope that everybody had a wonderful week. And I really, truly hope that everybody has a wonderful weekend, considering this is the weekend of the Day of Trumpets. The Feast of Trumpets, sorry. Not the Day of Trumpets, but the Feast of Trumpets. So I'm hoping everybody had a wonderful week, a wonderful day. And I can't wait to catch you all on the other side of this weekend. And God bless everybody. Have a great, great weekend and great, great night. And get into the word, y'all. Get into the word. And listen for him. Listen for God. He's there. He's waiting. God bless. Good night. Mwah.